Hey everyone, Paul Permalo here. You may remember in one of my past videos that I installed the Madstad windshield. One of the decisions that I had to make was what style of shield do I want? Do I want the clear? Do I want the dark? Do I want an 11 inch? Do I want a 13 inch? The style that suits me may not work for you. For instance, I like a clear windshield. When I'm riding slow and I'm looking at the potholes in the road in front of me, I like to look through the windshield. Or if I'm using my motorcycle turntable, then I need to look through the shield towards the front floor. Also, when I'm cruising normally down the road, I like to look over the windshield. So today, I'd like to break it down. Go in, look at the brackets, look at the windscreen. Give you as much information as I can to help you make a decision for your style. The screen is measured from the lowest part to the tallest part. These here are the lowest part. So if I'm going to measure this windshield, I'm going to go from the lowest part right across. And as you can see, I have the 11 inch screen. The brackets can be adjusted in two ways. You loosen the retaining nut and it can pivot one inch forward and back and three inches up and down. So if I wanted to give you an approximation of the angle, my bike is fairly level right now, the windshield will go from approximately 26 degrees to about 40 degrees at its lowest level. I'm going to give you some height measurements now and I want to base it all from the same spot. I chose to go from right where the V-notch is from your outer fairing where it meets the dash. So there's a little V-notch right here. That's where I'm going to start my measurements from. I put a piece of tape here just to protect the finish from the measuring tape. Because the screen has a cutout in it, I put a piece of paper across the bottom and this represents the lowest point of the windshield. With the windshield in the lowest position and brought as much forward as it can go, we have approximately three quarters of an inch from the fairing to the bottom of the windshield. In the lowest position and brought to the far back, we have approximately one and three quarters of an inch. With the windshield in the uppermost position and brought as far forward as it can go, we have approximately two and a half inches to the bottom of the windshield. In the uppermost position and as far back as it will go, we have approximately three inches. We're going to do the same type of measurements but from the top of the windshield. Now don't forget, I'm using the 11 inch screen, but the cutout and the mounting holes are going to be the same no matter what size screen you buy. The only difference is how much taller the windshield is up here. And for these measurements, I'm going to put a level at the top so it gives us a little more accurate reading of where it falls on the measuring tape. So in the lowest position and brought as much forward as possible, we have approximately 11 inches. With the screen as far back as it will go, we have approximately 10 and 3 quarters inches. With the screen in the uppermost position and brought as far forward as possible, we have approximately 13 inches. And finally with the screen as far back as it will go in the upper position, we have approximately 12 and a quarter inches. Now there's going to be a lot of factors involved when you're trying to choose the screen. I'm 6 feet tall, 250 pounds. I'm sitting on an ultimate seat. My rear shock is set to 40 pounds. All of this is going to change the angle of your view. Right now my shield is brought as far forward as possible and as high as possible. That is a maximum of 13 inches from the top to my measuring point. That's as tall as it's going to go. And when I'm riding, I can still see over the top. If I had chose a 13 inch one, I probably would start looking through either the line or a little bit at the top, and I don't like doing that. So I've given you as much information as I can involving this type of system. I hope it makes your choice a little easier. 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Ride safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.